this is a string variable and, and this one is used to uh, to link two strings to give a new one okay so uh, your application will change this a uh, from double into a string link these two and add the results to the display so let's see what's happening here I'm going to make it in a little bit different way for the next one now compute you can see the area is 40 when I press down 20 and compute again uh, you can see here the previous, va uh, previous value is not removed to compute you can see uh, we are still adding with every click okay it's a very important control you're going to use this one a lot but for today we're not going to take lots of details just uh, how to add items and how to clear it okay so this is the first one uh, now let's modify this second one after calculating the area okay I am going to use a string variable to display the result here dimension str as string uh, and now str equals the area of triangle is um, an area and then uh, list box one dot items dot add um, str now check this is how we do uh, how we do this one this time it's a little bit different uh, what we did is that we we created the string that you want to tell uh, display for the user and then added it later on okay we created the string stored in a variable they added it uh, on and in the first the first way we did it we uh, before we add we, we perform the whole calculation without even using a variable the computer understands this and calculates the new string or the new message you want to show the user and then perform the other operation so this one's correct and this one's correct it's easy uh, you you should follow which, which whichever is easier for you okay both are correct answers and as for the last one i'm going to use uh, variable, uh, two variable string variables since we want to test strings s1 string dimension s2 a string s1 equals um, the area of rectangle is okay and s2 equals s1 and a okay finally list box one dot items dot add s2 okay so S1, now this goes a little bit different, here this is the first part of the string and then here I am linking the, the area we calculated right away. So, let's save this one, run the application, okay, Ten compute, you can see this is it, for triangle, 10, 20, compute, this is 100, and this one, 10, 20, compute 200 so we, we can add values here right away no problem with that and when this one is for the list box you can see this straw, uh, scroll bar appears automatically which allows us to na navigate easily okay uh, now the list box is a very important control but we're not going to uh, take it in detail now because we need to know more about programming but for now uh, we know how to add items we also have to know how to clear it sometime uh, uh, well uh, if we have too many items let's say you want to clear these results and this is very easy actually we are gonna add small button right here and let me change it a little bit Okay, copy, paste, 
and it's here. Okay, no problem with that. This one, I'm gonna change its name into clear. Okay, now the event. And okay, we're going to clear all the text boxes and also we're going to clear this one. In order to clear a text box, the operation is very easy. Uh, you just write text box name dot text and you put an empty string into it. That's all. And text box two dot text equal nothing. Text box three dot text equal nothing. Text mm, box four dot text equal nothing. Text text box five and so on. Very easy. Okay. Oh, uh, there's only eight, right? Right. Yeah. So this only clears the text box, but it has nothing to do with the last list box. To clear the list box, you write uh, list box one dot items dot clear. That's all. And now let's run the uh, application. And let's see how it works. 29 compute. Um, 20, 11 compute. And 2, 3 compute. You can see here, when I press clear, you can see the whole content are removed, uh, removed from this one. Yeah. Uh, one last note if you can see if you see the navigation it goes from the area of square to area of rectangle then triangle uh, okay uh, I this is because I changed the the uh, these the the triangle text boxes were in uh, in order after the rectangle so I changed that so there's no error I'm going to fix this and this is very qu quick to fix just move this one right like this okay and ta -ta, done okay mission accomplished and now if you run the application okay you can see the tab is working very fine no problem with that okay so this is the end of our tutorial we looked how to work a little bit with variables. Of course, this is not something very professional, but this is just uh, a reminder of variables. And uh, we knew now uh, we saw how we work with the group boxes and a little bit with list box. Uh, our next tutorial will be more interested in uh, in loops. Okay, um, uh, something related to loops. Okay, uh, from the next tutorials will be interested in loops, um, collections, and uh, if statements. Okay, of course we won't take all of them. We'll take uh, li a little of these, and of course with the examples we'll be uh, testing the previous uh, principles and previous subjects. Okay, uh, thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. If you have any notes and if you have any suggestion to improve the tutorial, I'll be happy to receive your feedback. And you can check the website link on the right. Um, uh, you will find the source code there and you will find uh, a PDF tutorial as well. I uh, hope this one will be helpful to you. Uh, have a nice day and bye bye.